สวัสดีครับ Welcome to the classroom uh, computer organization and operating system. In this chapter, is a chapter 2, We talk about data presentation and transference. After we learn in this chapter, I think you will you can uh, uh, know the difference between the analog signal and digital signal, and you can describe the numerical value and tell about the error. Correction in the computer system, and also I show you the uh, uh, parity check error in the computer system. Uh, and in the laboratory, I show you using the digital oscilloscope to measure the the analog signal and the digital signal. Here we move to the first topic about the analog signal and the digital signal. And in these pictures, we have uh, two signal. On the top, this is an analog signal. The analog signal is is the signal is changing in continuous. That is a changing like as the floating point value from zero increasing until to maximum value by changing at the uh, few value increasing. But the The difference the signal that is the digital signal. The digital signal is, is uh, sometimes called discrete signal. The discrete signal not different, not not like as the continuous signal. It change from low and high immediately. Example here change from zero volt to five volt immediately. That is not continuous. This is the digital signal represent the two levels zero and one from low voltage and high voltage. Most of the computer and the microcontrollers today we use the five volt and a few computer system in uh, microcontroller system use the maximum voltage at three point t volt. Here yeah, in this picture, this is a device to device. We use this to measure the signal from analog and and digital signal. Uh, the 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 device below here we call is is a oscilloscope, and uh, on the top is is a signal generator, sometimes called a frequency generators. It generates a clock signal and supply to the a circuit, and then in the circuit we use the oscilloscope to measure in in each location a signal that generate from in each device in the circuit. You can look at the analog signal that is measured on the oscilloscope from the YouTube and the ring in the below. Here the analog signal have uh, properties by the analog signal that I told you is change in the continuous time signal changing in the waveform. Most of the analog signal is generated from the nature. Example here, someone play the guitar and the sound that's like as the wave. This is a hit to the microphone. The microphone convert from the sound uh, in the wave to the analog signal in the voltage, and then it give it to the amplifier to amplify the voltage from the small voltage to the high voltage, and then it does the amplifier send to another amplifier to to amplify or uh, gaining the voltage or Right in the speaker, and speaker uh, send it by convert from the voltage to the air pressure, and we we will listen to the music or sound from the guitars. Here, this is an example in the analog signal in the circuit in the analog circuit. Here, the digital signal different from analog signal. The Analog signal is changing in the continuous, but digital signal is is a discrete signal. 
I represent by convert from the analog signal to the digital signal. But in this, this have uh, not only zero to one and have the labels in the many labels in the in the digital form. Here in this picture, in the K line here, this is analog signal. And when I convert it to the digital signal, it's represented by the red line. I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 levels, 7 level. And here this is in this position, this is a level 1, 2, 3, 4, in the level 4, and then level 5, and move to level 4. The When you look at the the signal compare less and gray this is a similar but the the less signal is like as the, the laugh signal not smooth as the analog signal because it's a signal in the analog convert to the digital have uh, some parameter related to the conversion about the number of bits and number of the sampling less that's when you convert from the analog signal to the digital signal. In some system, you have a high bit example, 24 bits, and example, 16 bit in MP3. That is a difference. In 24 bits, can convert in smoothly when compared with the 16 bits. And also, the sampling rate, what is the sampling rate? The sampling that that is the the sampling in the 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 horizontal right here. This is sampling one. This is the sampling point. Sampling point. Sampling point. Sampling point. When um uh, some system have a high sampling list, high sampling list. That means it generate a lot of data to convert from the analog signal to the digital signal. When you use the uh, microcontroller, example, an uh, Arduino board, in this picture, this is an uh, Arduino board. The Arduino board has an uh, analog pin to get the analog signal but in this is a signal in low frequency in low frequency that is not change quickly like as the speed like as the signal capture from the circuit so this is analog from the sensor that is sensor from the the machine that is not changing immediately not changing very fast here this is an analog pin in the Arduino, have one, two, three, uh, zero, a zero to a five. It have a six pin analog signal input. And for the digital signal output, is generated from the pin number one here. Yeah? Um, I don't know the pin number. Here, yeah, this is a digital pin number one, number zero, number one, until to number thirteen. This is a fourteen pin. Or generate the anal uh, digital signal. Most of the signal is related to the frequency. I think this is a, a device that's related to the frequency generator. That is we call crystal oscillators. The crystal oscillator in the circuit. When you look at the motherboard, here yeah, this is a crystal oscillator moving back to the to the Arduino board and you find where is the crystal oscillator here yeah, this is a crystal oscillator this crystal oscillator is been uh, 16.30 it means 16 megahertz Inside the crystal oscillator have a crystal wafer. The crystal wafer have a property about the vibration. It can generate small, it can generate frequency in the very, very low voltage. And this is a symbol in the crystal clock. 
and also sometimes we can use the we can write the circuit inside the 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 crystal clock is is an equivalent circuit equivalent circuit inside the crystal clock is consists of the capacitor inductors capacitor and resistor in this is equivalent circuit for represent to the crystal clock now we move to the next topic we talk about the signal property in this picture it is a look like a sine wave signal the signal have a uh, two uh, have a property first this is the <coughs> amplitude the amplitude this is uh, represent the voltage so it uh, change from zero to positive wall and zero to negative walls and at the bottom here this is half that is we call the circle or period circle or periods for for the signal amplitude and and period or circle and uh, the period the circle is is a relate about the time time in the in the in the curve in in a uh, as we call it is a a side wave a side wave a side wave have time start from here to here we can convert the time to frequency by use the equation one division by three this is the convert from time to frequency example here uh, i have uh, the time about uh, we have a frequency a signal in the 50 hertz we can convert to time by using this equation this is a one division times or what that is one one division time is frequency or one division by frequency is time is you can convert by convert from this equation here this is have a time about zero point zero two second yeah it's represent in 50 hertz in this picture we have three signal the signal a on the top signal b and signal c which one on the signal is low frequency we can measure the frequency by checking out a signal in the one wave form here this is a one wave form start here to end at this here in this point and then we counting number of blocks one two three four five is have a 5.5 blocks maybe 5.5 block approximation we and then we check in each block used in what is a frequency what is a time in each box i represent in each box represent uh, is uh, one millisecond one millisecond time in each box so from this to this is have total totally 5.5 milliseconds and then we can convert from the time to frequency by using this frequency uh, and frequency is 181.8 hertz okay here from this is calculation we can suppose this is a signal in here signal c in below have a high frequency over a and b signal and for the voltage voltage sometimes called amplitude or levels in the signal we can measure by by counting in each block in the signal uh, in this picture we we check the voltage from from the bottom to tops sometimes called to the negative to positive or sometimes called peak to peak peak to peak peak at negative to peak at positive 
From peak to peak is have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 box. In each box, suppose uh, 1.5 wall. Totally, it is a 6 wall. Sometimes, make sure the voltage is, is a check only uh, half of the signal from 0 to peak. We call peak voltage. The peak voltage is 0, uh, it is 1, 2, 2 box, it is 3 voltage.